Hello guys and welcome to Amulya's Academy YouTube channel. I'm back with another challenging program. Today I want you to write a Python program to check whether entered integer number is power of 2 or not. But the twist is you need to write this program using bitwise shift operator. Okay, so pause this video and try to guess the solution for this problem. Alright, now if you have any idea, don't forget to share with us in the comment section. And for those who are not getting how to solve this problem, don't worry, let's do it together. So here we have two parts in this program. The first part is we need to check whether entered number is power of 2 or not. We need to enter the integer number and we need to check that entered number is power of 2 or not. And we need to do this using bitwise shift operator. Alright, first let's see what is power of 2. Power of 2 is a number of the form 2 power n where n is an integer. The numbers which you can represent in this form are called as power of 2. For example, 1, 2, 4. You can represent 1 as 2 power 0, 2 as 2 power 1, 4 as 2 power 2. 8 as 2 power 3 right these numbers are power of 2 so we need to check whether entered number is in this form and here we need to do that using bitwise shift operator we have two shift operator left shift operator and right shift operator i already made few videos on bitwise operators so i will give you the link of all those videos in the description box you can go and check that and here to write this program we are using bitwise left shift operator so we'll denote that using this. This is the bitwise left shift operator. And here we'll take an operand and uh, this is the number of bit you want to shift. Here x is an operand. For example, if I take 10 like this, here 10 is an operand. This is operator and 2 is nothing but the number of bit you want to shift. Alright, now what is the connection between the power of 2 and bitwise left shift operator? How to find the entered integer number is power of 2 or not using bitwise left shift operator. So to understand this, you need to be familiar with the speciality of bitwise shift operator. When I left shift value 1, then the whatever the result will get from that, it is the power of 2. Okay, so little bit confusing, right? So I'll explain you here. If I shift value 1 towards the left side by 0 bits, then I'll get output as 1. That is, this is the binary representation of 1. And we need to shift this towards the left side by 0 bits. That means we'll get same result. So this is the binary representation of 1. So when I shift 1 towards the left side by 0 bits, I'll get 1. And 1 is nothing but 2 power 0. And now if I shift 1 towards the left side by 1 bit, then here this is binary representation of 1. If I want to left shift, I need to shift towards this side by 1 bit. So here 1 will come here and in the right side I will add a 0. So this is the binary representation of 2. So when I left shift 1 by 1 bit, I will get output as 2 that is nothing but 2 power 1. If I left shift 1 by 2 bits then I'll get like this this is the binary representation of 4 so I'll get 4 that is nothing but 2 power 2 if I left shift 1 by 3 bits then I'll get 8 here this is the binary representation of 8 that is nothing but 2 power 3 so here if number of bit is i then we'll get 2 power i here here, if this is i, then this is 2 power i. If I shift 0 bits, I'll get 2 power 0, that is 1. If I shift 1 bits, I'll get 2 power 1, that is 2. If I shift 2 bits, then I'll get 2 power 2. Okay, so this is the connection between the shift operator and power of 2. Now, we need to use this to write this program. Right, so here in the Python file, first step is we need to take an integer input. So here I'll take a variable and here you can take any suitable variable name and here I'll use input function to take the input, enter the integer number 
and here we want integer input and I am using python 3 and in python 3 by default this input function will take input as the string value but because we want integer input I am using int function here alright so now we are done with the input next step is we need to check this number is power of 2 or not so for that what we need to do we need to do left shift operation on 1 and we need to do that again and again because I don't know what this number is right so first we'll start from this and we'll do one left shift zero and we'll compare this result with the entered number if it is equal that means that number is power of two otherwise we need to do this we need to shift one towards the left side by one bit and we need to check its result matches with num or not if it matches then that means the entered number is power of two if not we need to go to this right we need to do this again and again until a condition is met so that's why i'll take a variable i equal to zero that is because first we need to shift one towards the left side by zero bit right that's why i'm taking the variable i equal to zero next here i'll take variable result that is to store the result that is we'll do the shift operation right from that we'll get a result to store that I am taking this variable and I'll initially take its value as 0 and here I'll take while loop as I said we need to left shift 1 by 0 bit first next 1 bit next 2 bit we need to do that again and again for different number of bits until the result will match with the entered number right that's why we are taking this while condition I'll mention its condition later first let's write the while body inside this while body what I'll do is I'll take result equal to I need to shift one towards the left side by i bits here I'm taking i as zero initially so initially it will shift zero bits next later I'll increment that initially I need to shift one by zero bits and here I'll check if result is equal to num entered number when I shift one towards the left side by i bits, I'll check its result with num, whether it matches. If it matches, then that is nothing but yes, entered number is power of 2. You can write like this also. For example, if num value is 4, that is nothing but 2 power 2, right? That's why here I'm writing that. If I want to print that, you can write like this. Now, if the number is uh, power of 2 then we need to print this message and we need to come out of this while loop that's why we are using break statement we don't want to do anything after that if it doesn't match then what I need to do I need to shift 1 by 1 bit right I need to go to the next iteration that is first I need to do this if the result is not matching with num then I need to go to this I need to shift 1 by 1 bit right so that's why here I need to increment i value and now coming back to this here we need to write the condition the stopping condition for while loop when we need to stop doing this for example if entered number is 4 okay when it will execute this the result of this will match with the number so it will stop the execution it will execute the break statement so it will stop the execution no problem when the entered number is power of 2 but if it is not for example 5 if the entered number is 5 first we'll do this we'll check 1 is equal to 5 no so it will check this no it will check like this no next it will check this no then no need to check for next value right because here we can see we are getting the number which is greater than the entered number we are getting the result which is greater than num this number so that's why I took here result variable if result is less than num then only execute this otherwise no need to execute that so that is the while condition and next here you need to take else for while loop so we can use else block with the for loop and while loop here I'm using else block with the while loop and here I'll print no Alright, so why I am writing this else block for while? That is because 
until this condition become false we need to check whether the entered number is the power of 2 or not when this condition become false it will execute the else block in only one situation this else block will not execute that is when break statement is executed when while loop is terminated by the break statement else part won't execute in all other cases else part will execute here also we want the same that is when break statement is executed that means we know that the number is power of 2 so we printed that message we don't want to print this message at that time in all other cases we want to print this message that's why i'm using else block with the while loop okay now if i execute this and if i enter 0 0 is not and if i enter 1 yes 2 power 0 7 not so i'll quickly tell you how this program works if entered number is 4 num is 4 i is 0 result is 0 so 0 less than 4 yes so result equal to it will shift 1 towards the left side by 0 bit here it will perform this so we'll get result as 1 now and it will check whether result equal to num no so i value will be incremented now i value becomes 1 initially it was 0 now it becomes 1 again it will check result is less than num here result is 1 1 is less than 4 yes 1 is less than 4 so it will execute this it will shift 1 towards the left side by 1 bit now i value is 1 so we'll get 2 from this so result becomes 2 res becomes 2 it will check 2 is equal to equal to num no so it will execute this i equal to i plus 1 now i value becomes 2 now again control will go here and result res is less than num here res is 2 2 is less than 4 yes so it will execute this it will shift 1 towards the left side by 2 bit because here i value is 2 so we'll get 4 res become 4 so it will check res is equal to num yes it is it matches so it will print this message and it will execute break statement all right now if i enter number as 5 so i is 0 result is 0 and it will check 0 is less than 5 it is true so it will execute this so it will shift 1 towards the left side by 0 bit so we'll get result as 1 it will check this no so it will execute i equal to i plus 1 now i value becomes 1 now again control will go here 1 is less than 5 here result is 1 right res is 1 so 1 less than 5 true so it will shift 1 towards the left side by 1 bit so we'll get 2 we'll get res as 2 and it will check that no so it will execute this i equal to i plus 1 i value becomes 2 again control will go here now here res is 2 2 is less than 5 yes so it will shift 1 towards the left side by i bit i is 2 so we'll get 4 here from this so it will check 4 is equal to num no so it will execute this i equal to i plus 1 i value is uh, 3 now so it will again go here res value is 2 sorry 4 4 is less than 5 yes it will shift 1 towards the left side by i bits so i'll get 8 here from this we'll get 8 so it will check 8 equal to num no so it will come here i equal to i plus 1 i value become 4 again control will go here now it will check result is less than num here it is 8 8 is not less than num so it become false so it will execute else body and we'll get this message okay this is how this program works so that's about this program thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care